the first official test event and the first Olympic athletes in town. A taste of the games that will start here in two years' time. But there is still much work to be done all over Rio, as these sailors can see for themselves in the Guanabara Bay, where floating debris could be a potential hurdle in the quest for Olympic gold. Pollution is a chronic problem in the bay, and Olympic officials say making significant improvement is a priority. It's obviously a concern. We're not hiding the fact that there is an issue. Um, but we're using this test event to see how much we can make it better within the next two years. So we're really concerned about the safety of the athletes, their health, and the risk of floating debris on their boats. But we're working really hard to try and reduce those risks as much as possible. This is what the Olympic Park should look like in two years' time. But for now, it's just a massive construction site. A double shift of workers is racing to finish the venue and authorities say everything is just about on schedule. After criticism that the tickets to the World Cup matches were too expensive for most Brazilians, Mayor Eduardo Paes announced that his government would distribute over a million tickets for free to city residents. We are going to uh, use mainly our uh, uh, school systems. We have almost 700,000 kids uh, in the schools uh, of the city of Rio mainly poor people that go to public schools, so uh, this will, uh, will let the Olympics be much more of a, a games of integration participation. High-speed bus corridors will connect distant areas and improve mobility in a city that suffers from daily gridlock. For now, traffic is only getting worse and residents are left hoping the two years pass by quickly and leave the city with the legacy of improvements they've been promised. Julia Carneiro, BBC News, Rio de Janeiro.